high home prices are leaving many Canadians feeling shut out of the market. And now it's also sparking some people to look into non-traditional buying arrangements. One of the emerging trends is co-ownership where two or more people, friends, siblings, strangers even, buy and live in a house together. For a look at this trend and the pros and cons of it, real estate expert Donnie Mangos is here with us in studio. Good to have you with Thank us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, people are looking for creative ideas to try to get into this housing market. So explain this idea of right. co-ownership. It's not that new. I mean, if you are an investor and you've got partners, it's a similar concept. There's two or three of you on title. You're buying a place. You want to appreciate together. I can't afford it on my own, so I'll do it with, with a partner. So it's the same concept. It's just now you're living with your partner. Yeah, that's a bit different, right? Like, yeah. who, is, who is actually doing this and, and taking hold of this trend? It's, it's people that are looking for a way to get in the market. The, the prices are what they are right now. They're pretty expensive. I can afford half of that, but I can't afford the whole thing on my own. Well, if you can afford half and I can afford half, Maybe we can get into this market and start building some equity. So let's talk about the difference with sort of years past where people invest in a property together and they rent it out. Sure. And there, there's a difference here in what we're talking about because we're, we're right. literally talking about, let's say, two families moving in yep. and coexisting under the same roof. It could be where the separation between units, kind of like a duplex, mm -hmm. where you, know, you, you own the house together, one of you is a tenant to the other person and vice versa, or... There could be communal space. There could be a, a big family room, a big kitchen where you share it. So there's different arrangements that can be made you know, along these lines. It's, you really got to go in with your eyes wide open with your partner. Make sure you're okay with what this means for your lifestyle. See, I see a whole lot of problems with Totally. This. But it's, it's sitting down with them, having a chat with them for, you know, what are our five-year plans? What are our two-year plans? Where are we headed? Are we aligned? And I would say sign documents, would you not? Totally. Lay everything out, go in eyes wide open, think about what happens if this happens, mm -hmm. what happens if that happens. You gotta you know, draw a lot of what if scenarios. And let's give there. some examples of that. Like yeah. for example, what happens if you go in as single people and one person uh, takes on a partner? Totally. Uh, totally. That would be one scenario. Or what other scenarios? What if I'm going to have three kids mm -hmm. and the other one loves quiet? Well, that might be a, you know, a deal breaker kind of thing. Well, just go in there with your life plans, know what you're looking for, be clear on that and be honest because you don't, these are your friends more often than not. You kind of want to maintain the relationship. And things like, what if somebody wants out? How are you going to organize that? Exit strategies, right? We, we have them in, in investor contracts, have the same thing for co-ownership contracts. It's the same kind of concept. It's not a new concept. Figure out, you know, in five years' time, we're going to part ways. So we'll get a five-year mortgage, lock it in for this. And then in five years, I'll take my equity, you take yours. And now we can go on our own if we wanted to and buy our own property. So would you su suggest uh, bringing a lawyer in on these documents? Yes. Yeah, full on. Okay, Absolutely. so let's talk about, so those are some of the cons. Let's talk about some of the pros. You can get in. I mean, the prices have escalated nearly 30% in the past year in Toronto. That's in a Toronto, lot of yeah. money. You know, on a million dollars, 30% is $300,000. So, um, and there's no end in sight for the short term. So getting your foot in the, in the game you know, this is your way of doing it, well then do it. Get in there, like appreciate with the market. Uh, if you don't, it's going to be that much harder three years from now. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, we really don't, it's hard, it's hard to forecast, but you know, yeah. year over year, it's just escalated so much. It's really tough to get it's, in. Exactly. Toronto's cool, Toronto's hip. People want to live in Toronto. It's, it's the hub of the country. It, it'll be a strong market, you know, for forever. Um, maybe some hiccups along the way, but you're going to be just fine here. People want to live in Toronto. This is what it takes sometimes. You've got to just bend on what you're, willing to live with. I have to say, uh, one of the pros that I would suspect yeah. in terms of lifestyle, if you do find somebody that really does or some family that really does fit your lifestyle, right. look, you've got like babysitters there. If you've got kids, yeah. they're locked in. You've got people to, you know, help with the... I would also yeah. think like grocery sharing and yeah, that stuff. Exactly. Let's say you were Ran sharing... Well, exactly. Right. Let's say you were sharing a kitchen. Sure. I mean, you've got to think about the day-to-days too, like yes. the basics of life. Yeah, totally. So that all comes into play for sure. Um, carpooling. Everything, everything <laughs> to do with that too, there's, yeah. There's, there's the sharing of equity, the sharing of expenses as well. Yeah. So it's cheaper to live, right? And then you have to think about when you do sell the house, how that is broken down. And that's yes. why I think your advice to get a lawyer and walk through all of yep. the what ifs is probably the best advice, Donnie. It, it could also be a not equal ownership. I might have 70% in your 30. That could happen as well. So a lawyer would be the one to speak with. Yeah, because you may not have equal money yep. in it, right? Yep. All right, so great advice. Donnie Thank Mangos, we appreciate you being you. here. And I've just learned that uh, your slogan is, don't go bananas, go mangoes. Yes, it is. I love that. <laughs> you caught that? I did. We'll, we'll end on that note. All right, thanks so much, Donnie. Thank we you. appreciate you being Bye. here. We're back in two minutes.